video, I'm going to teach you how to complete your bias binding. The first thing I wish you to do is take a ruler, draw a pencil line along the top edge of your bunting triangle and cut with fabric shears. Complete this to all three bunting triangles. This will ensure the top is neat, ready for the next stage in sewing. Next, take some time in deciding the order of your flags. Make sure it looks good. The next stage in making is to attach the bias binding strip. Now, as you can see, the bias binding strip needs to be folded in half to trap the flag. If we just fold it over, you'll see it just springs back. What we need to do is fold the bias binding in half and press with an iron. This part takes time. Ensure that you iron the whole way across the bias binding strip, ready to insert your bunting flags. As you can see, we're going to place the flag in the middle of the strip. The top half then gets folded over and we need to pin this in place. Again, this is very, very skillful. You have to take your time. Make sure the pin goes through all three layers, the back of the strip, the flag and the top of the bias binding. You'll need to pin this all the way across. Now you're ready for the sewing machine. Ideally, we should set these up with the needle to the left. Place the material underneath the presser foot. Ensure you've got two threads. Lower the presser foot lever down and start with your needle in. Remember, turning the hand wheel towards you. It's really important we choose a sewing machine with the same colour thread as the bias binding strip in order for it to look neat. Start off sewing. Checking your speed control and when you get to the pin, it's important you stop, take your foot off the pedal and remove the pin at this stage. Continue down the full length of the ribbon. Next, ensure your two tabs at the edge are the same length. And to extend your learning, you may wish to create a little hook at the edge. To do this, fold it underneath itself and you can sew the strip down. Notice I'm using the reverse button to ensure the stitch is, does not come out. 